Hello, this is Captain. So this is going to be the centrifugal separator tutorial for the new oil spill major update. And so we're going to go ahead and I'll learn this with you guys as we go. So I built a quick little uh, tank here. So there's two tanks. There's one here. If we look at the meter here, we, as you can see, it's full of diesel. If we go to the other side here, this is going to be full of water. As you can see, seawater. This here is a congregation tank. So the two fluids will meet in here. As you can see, I have a pump pumping from either tank into here. And then we have the centrifugal separator here. You do need a pump. You need to pump into this. It will not draw in itself. So if we, I have infinite electricity on, I have a motor on top, so that's going to give it torque. And as you can see, we have 19 torque there, it's, uh, RPS. And this is where the fluid will go in, so it's going to draw from this mixing tank. And then we have two levels here. We have the... Uh, the light materials are going to come out here, and the heavy materials are going to go, go out here. So the heavy materials being water are going to go there. Now, I have been experiencing some mixing. The devs did talk about it in one of the weekly updates previous to this being released, that likely we're going to have to do multiple stages. So we're going to work on this and probably have to add separator after separator. We're going to have to have a chain of them so they continually separate. The first separation is probably not going to separate everything. We're going to probably have to go beyond that to separate. And I'm curious if the lighter materials are going to be require different uh, separation time. So let's go ahead and toggle the button on. You'll notice that we have diesel and seawater are coming in and mixing together in the mixing tank. And you'll notice I have a pump pumping into the separator right there. That's required. You need that. If we look at this the, here, you see we have fluid in, 28 liters, fluid out, 14 liters, dense fluid out, 14 liters. So we're getting an even split between the fluid in. It's going to split us out even between the fluid, which is the less dense fluid, and the dense fluid, which is the more dense fluid, as you can see. So it's about an even split. Now, one thing I've been noticing, I just started the tests here, but if we look, we're starting to get seawater in our diesel, but look, very little. We have point, uh, we have one liter, so as you can see, we're getting a very, very small amount of seawater back into our diesel, so we get a little contamination, and we should probably expect we get a little contamination on this side. As you can see, we actually have no contamination on this side, so it looks like the one separator is fine. So one separator is working fine here, so... Uh, as long as I don't get any diesel contaminated into my seawater, we're going to be able to pump back in. Now, the other thing to think about, too, is you're going to be able to dump the water back into the ocean as you're separating. And if some more diesel gets in there, you're still going to be in the area pumping up, and so likely you'll put it through the separator again. So as you can see, pretty simple here. Um, it's All you're doing is you're putting some source of power on there, a torque, a fluid in, and from here, you're getting fluid out, which is going to be your lighter materials, most likely diesel, jet fuel, and oil. And your heavier materials going to be your waters, either fresh or sea. And that's going to come out, and it goes back in the tank. So pretty simple here. As you can see, it is working. Let's go ahead and... Can't really shut off these valves. Let's go ahead, and uh, I'm just going to make a quick edit here. And I'm going to add another button. And this button here is going to control this pump here. And this will allow me to shut my valves off. So let's uh, spawn it again. All right, so let's test this and see if we're getting contamination. So we're going to start pumping into the mixing tank. As you can see, we're pumping into the mixing tank. The volume, I covered my my uh, my readout there. Let's go on the other side. I duplicated them so we can read here. As you see, we're getting diesel and seawater in there. And then let's go ahead and turn on the separator. And so I don't have the pump turned on for the separator yet. So that's fine. Let's let this fill just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut this off. So this will stop filling if we look at the fluid meter here. We have 1652 of diesel, 1652 of seawater for a total of 3304. Now let's try to separate it. So we need to turn on the pump for the separator. Right, you'll notice you, we are getting about, there's uh, 30 liters per second and if you notice we get about an even split between the fluid out which is our less dense material which would be in this case our diesel and our more dense the dense fluid out will be 14 and let's see if we're getting any contamination so we're pumping the yellow line yellow is for diesel that's going to come back into the diesel tank blue is for water blue is going to be pumped back into the other tank you can see right there that fluid 
port is where that's pumping in. As you see, we get a tiny, tiny bit of contamination. We're getting 0.9 seawater in our diesel. It's not a ton. And we could probably cycle this through a couple times to get it completely clean. If you notice on this side, we're getting no uh, contamination of diesel back in this tank. So you notice this is working already. This is working well. So let's go ahead and let's test it with a different uh, fluid. So let's grab the diesel and let's change it to jet fuel. And we'll spawn that in. And so I'm assuming this will act the same, but we will test it out. So we're going to turn this on. We'll let this fill. We'll go to the other side and read the fluid port. And the fluid port is reading. As you can see, we're getting an even mix of jet and sea. We'll just wait till this gets to about 1,000 liters a side, just so we have plenty to watch. All right, and there's about 1,000 liters a side. So let's stop the in pumps. And let's turn on the pump going into the separator. As you can see, it's it has filled it up. Let's go ahead and turn on the throttle. That's going to spin it. As you see, it's spinning at 19, and that is separating. Let's go ahead and look at our two here. As you can see, we have jet fuel, and jet fuel is coming back. And we have a little, so it looks like we have more seawater contamination here. So likely the different densities of the fuel is uh, is causing issues here, which isn't a big deal. We're, what we can do is we can keep cycling it through. So I bet you if we kept cycling this through every cycle, we're going to get more and more water out of this potentially. So let's actually do a test here. Uh, let's do one more test. So I want to move this one here anyway. All right, so we'll put this here. So that is going to be up top. And then we'll make one more here. So this is going to be diesel. So this is for the jet fuel side. This here is for the water side. And this here is for the uh, pump in. So let's uh, go and contaminate our stuff again. And so we'll pump in equal parts jet and C. And let's just let it get up to a few hundred there. We'll let it get to a thousand, just a nice round number. All right, so we're mixing this up, and I'll go ahead and shut these off. All right. So we, as you can see, we have about a thousand jet and a thousand C. Let's go ahead and separate. And centrifugal separator is going. As you can see, we're about even split between the two. Let's check the fluid meter. As you can see, we get a little bit of seawater contamination. So we have 2.8 liters of contamination. All right, now likely what I'm suspecting, the reason why I split that is if we go ahead and we let the jet fuel come out, I'm going to see if we can get the water out. So we'll keep sending this through the separator. Now, this isn't a huge deal in game. You know, let's say you have a spill. Uh, you know, I haven't played with the actual spill yet, but let's say you have a spill. You can probably work with one separator if you want, say, a small boat. And as you go through it multiple times, likely what will happen is you're going to get a further separation. So you'll keep, you know, you might dump a little bit of, say, jet fuel or oil in the case of the, of the new game mode. Let's say you dump some oil back into the ocean. Well, you're still going to suck it up again and likely take it out the second or third time through. So, uh, you know, so as you can see, we're just cycling through and we're just cleaning this one batch here to see if we can't get that seawater out. And let's check the other side, see if we're getting any contamination on this side. Nope, it looks like the seawater side, the water side is not contaminated, and that makes sense. You know, you're getting some of your water in your bottom fluid section. So the centrifuge is probably going to be more uh, precise the faster it's going. So let's actually do the test. Let's go 50% speed on the centrifuge. So it's an electric motor, so it should scale linearly. Uh, nope, it didn't. Let's go down a little bit. Um, trying to get the speed down here. All right, so as you can see, look look at the speed difference here. So fluid in is still 30.6 liters per second. Fluid out, which is the uh, less dense, where now most of it is going out the fluid out. The fluid, uh, the dense fluid out, as you can see, is putting very little out. If I change the speed back up, notice the numbers. Uh, the numbers are going to change. Oh, you know what it is? I don't have these mixed. Let's uh, mix these up again. It's because I didn't have much dense fluid. So let's actually test that with some dense fluid. So see the dense fluid is going up? That's because we didn't have a lot of water in the system. 
So let's actually get that water up. So we're just, we just, because I contaminated it unevenly, if we look, we have a lot more jet fuel in there than seawater. That is why we have the differential. So that makes sense. But as you can see, it is working. We get a tiny, tiny bit of contamination. I mean a tiny bit of contamination. We have 1.6 liters of seawater in our jet fuel. And if we look over here at our seawater, we have very little. Uh, none, actually. So what's going to happen is, let's say this was on your ship, right? This mixing tank is the ocean. And you would dump all of your seawater directly back in the seawater. The only tank you would have is this collection tank here. And so this would work, and it's working really well. As you see, we're getting a little bit of contamination, but you could rerun that through the system and clean it out if you wanted. So pretty cool. I hope you guys found that informative, and I'll see you in the next one.